So there they are. These are the moringa seedlings I showed earlier uh, in my early videos this year. Uh, I planted somewhere around 30 pots of uh, or 30 seeds of moringa and uh, I have given some to uh, a friend and this is what I have here. These are what I'm going to keep and uh, over winter so that next year sometimes uh, mid, mid to late spring I'll be planting this uh, everywhere in my yard all around my garden so as you can see here's the update of what my moringa looks right now I already have uh, I topped this moringas once already and uh, the next thing I'm gonna be doing is uh, cutting it back down again and I'll be saving the cuttings for my uh, powdered moringa. I'm gonna be processing them so that I will have some powdered moringa for my winter uh, used. And you can see that some of the moringas are actually leaning. They're doing okay. They're really, really in good shape. It's just that the wind had uh, taken a toll on them. Very strong winds we have. Uh, in oh, several days ago actually last night we had a heavy downpour and this is what my moringa looks like right now as you can see and this will give, give me lots of moringa to process and I will have my supply for the winter so as you can see this is my moringa update this is what they look like right now they're doing very well and they will be topped off for the second times okay so that's the base of it going up and as you can see there's my moringa which I thought died on us and as you can see, it's way up there again, past the roof of my hoop house. And it's actually putting out flowers. It's not very noticeable right now. It's very hard to focus when it's uh, very sunny like it is now. Uh, that's those are flowers right there as you can see so my moringas are doing very well again So there's the moringa. Full of leaves and is very healthy. Okay, so here's the other moringas on this side of the yard as you can see. And more in there. And, oh, take a good look at this. Finally, not much, but there are a few uh, fruits there. My blood orange finally uh, developed some fruits, as you can see right there. Okay, that's a start. Oops, pardon me. <laughs> Lost focus. So, that's my blood orange. Uh, provided some few fruits this year hopefully uh, we'll start having more fruit from this fruit tree from now on okay here's one it's doing well I should be able to harvest some greens from here for my processing 
and hey, might as well take a shot of that. That's my avocado tree right there, as you can see. Uh, it's more than five years now, I believe. Let's see how long this avocado will last, and if it keeps coming back every year, who knows? This too might provide us some kind of fruit. <laughs> and here goes another moringa. Hey, this is a new one here. No, actually, if you look carefully down there, those are the stems, dried up stems from this moringa, which I thought died as well. See, this year I really, really thought that all my moringa died on me. <laughs> but as you can see, new growth, which we'll be harvesting and processing for the winter supply. That's moringa, as you can see. Here's another one here. Two three, four, quite a few moringa going on in here. As you can see. Moringa. I mean, all of my moringa, probably, except for probably two or three plants, did not come back to us. But for the most part, my moringas came back, grew back, and here they are, as you can see. We will also harvest the greens from these moringas here. Okay. Let's go to my poultry. It's been a while. It's a little mild, to, <laughs> not too hot today, to be exact. It's been very, very hot, very humid, still kind of humid. It seems like uh, it might rain again today. But uh, here's my poultry. And as you can see, because of all this yam and other plant I planted around the dome, you can see that my hands are really well shaded. They really have a very good uh, protection from the heat of the sun, extreme heat that we've been having this summer. They're well protected, protected in there. And uh, all of my hands are looking nice and healthy, quite content. Uh, we might try to dig up some of this yam this year and we're still gonna keep on allowing them to grow all, all along this uh, dome to give that shade that my hand, hands needed every summer because it this is a facing south uh, area where my poultry dome is at and so greeneries like you see there around it is definitely needed in order to give them a break from the heat of the sun. And no doubt we'll have a lot of yam to dig up from, <laughs> from this area as well. Okay. Oh. And there are things that are still doing very well here. So, uh, if you remember, I mentioned about my three-year-old uh, pepper, which I have kept in my greenhouse. And as you can see, it's just so prolific. It's very, very productive. So, there's no question about it. I will be keeping this. I will try to keep this in good shape. Uh, during the winter, we're going to try to keep this in a good place to overwinter and I'm going to try my best to keep this for as long as I can. As long as it's producing like this, I, I decided that I will keep uh, taking care of it and overwintering it to see how long I can keep my pepper. Now this is just one type of pepper. This is sweet pepper I used to make my sofrito or 
my Spanish cooking with. I have not tried with other, oh, besides jalapeno. I have done that with jalapeno and I did keep it for, uh, kept them for three years as well. And I should have tried to keep on going and see how long I could have done. But I'm sure if I keep this uh, peppers here, for as long as I have, this will be my fourth year keeping this. I would have done the same thing with that jalapeno in the past, which I have kept for three years. I'm going to try and do that as well with the jalapeno. And, and these are my papaya, as you can see. These two will be overwintered. And I'm hoping if we do well during the winter, I'm hoping to be able to plant this and who knows, we might even be able to harvest papaya. So we'll see. Okay. There goes those jalapenos here, as you can see, which actually with this jalapeno, you see what grew with it? That's a turmeric plant. <laughs> but I had two jalapenos here. There's one in that pot there, but there is a turmeric plant. But you see that pot there, as well as this pot, I will be uh, keeping this as well. And we're going to overwinter this.